tell me what to say. Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of Serious Nivage with so Esbiri Brown and Gourmet Pens. This is like take ten for this particular one. Please stop! Please stop! Okay. Today we'll have a look at this pen. This the is Franklin Christoph Model 02, aka 02, aka 2. Uh, intrinsic, and the finish is the smoke and ice. You mean it's 02 is intrinsic in the pen? It came with a broad steel nib, although currently we have a broad cursive italic on it, just so you know. Um, Alright, what were your first impressions then? Quite good. Interesting model, interesting material, nice pen. A nice model. It's pleasant to hold, pleasant to use, and a smooth. Yeah, unscrewing the cap there. <laughs> and it was just uh, pleasant to use. What were your first impressions? What do you mean pleasant to hold, pleasant to use? That's not first. Okay, anyway. Uh, my first impressions well, you were. Can, you can see something, I think that's probably. I was really to hold, excited but... because I like pens where you can see the ink, you know, whether they're translucent or totally clear. This one is kind of. It's got the icy body which is really cool so I was really excited to eyedropper it. And you can. Franklin Crystal pens can be eyedropped. Yep. So, wait, what was the question? Well, first impressions, what <laughs> What makes it... I have to work with this. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> you guys only see this once every while. I have to work and live with this. Do you understand? Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Shall I continue what makes it special? Yeah, yeah, maybe. That's a good <laughs> idea. Um... <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Are you done? If you'd shut your beak, I could continue without distraction. Okay. I'm calm. What makes this special uh, is the are. smoke and ice finish, because you can also get this uh, just like in a black model with different color cappings and stuff. And red. Um, and red, which is the fire and ice, but but this particular one is, well, both this and the fire and ice is special because of the, the icy body. And, um... Oh my god, did you pay attention? I'm paying attention. He's staring at the cat who's hunting a fly, but she's so dumb that she's just staring right through it. Okay. So, a good first impression. Now, what makes no, it special? I just did what makes it special. Oh, it's the material? All right, oh good. my god. I have to work with this and live with this. Okay, I think one of us is gonna kill. Yeah, they're biting your nose. What are the writing experience? What was your writing experience? Pretty good. What was your writing experience? <laughs> now it's a, it's a broad nib. Ple that's we got it with the broad nibs. It's a lot. It's a lot of fun to use. Um, nice smooth writing performance. Uh, I have. And that's it's a number six, just so you guys know. Yeah, this is in a case six you don't nib. know that. And of course, Franklin Christoph offers the possibility to have Mike Masayama, the nibmeister from MikeItWork.com. Which is a um, supreme honor, I would say. <laughs> yeah, he will work on your nib. He has worked on nibs for me before. And uh, currently on this we have a Mike Masayama cursive italic broad. Mm -hmm. um, which I think is a whole lot more fun than the standard nib. Not that there's anything wrong with the standard nib. No, but this but has this a lot adds, more character. Yeah, it's it's a whole different ball game, and it's only I think fifteen dollars more to have him customize your nib, which is nothing if you consider the. Uh, it's nothing, but also it's fast. It's not like you're going to be yeah. waiting three weeks or something for your pen to be. Okay, so um, I will echo his sentiments that yes, the broad was very nice and smooth. Big Dick agrees. But uh, hi, what are you doing? Do you know you're inconvenient? Um, the broad curse of italic is a lot more fun. It's um, it's not sharp or crispy, but it gives you a nice line variation. It, it shades really well. It's just a really nice, pleasant nib to use. So, um, and, and also, the pen is incredibly comfortable. It is very comfortable. You can post it really deeply. You may see the tapered shape of the barrel. If not, check out my review or, or Aziza's review. Posts deeply, making for a very nice pen. It's also quite light. It's not super yeah. top heavy. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. quite nice. It's not the biggest pen, but I find it very comfortable. It is comfortable. A very comfortable section. And what is nice about Franklin Christoph is they put the threads on the front of the section mm -hmm. so you don't get but, sharp threads. At and the even end. though they're there, even if you grip your pen, I grip my pen really close to the nib, they're, um, they're very wide, right? Yeah, so they're really they wide, they so they don't sharp. really bite into your fingers. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, writing experience. What yeah. do you love about it? God. Um, I love the shape of the pen. 
I really like how it tapers towards yeah. the back, but not a huge amount, just slightly. It doesn't look upsetting. Really. It's no, like it's much. really nice. Yeah. Um, it comes with a converter, but you can also eyedropper it. And this pen eyedropper is spectacular because it just looks really cool. Yeah, because you have that cracked ice material. Um, I don't know how well you can see that here, but it's it's not just clear. It does look like, like ice. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah, so it gives the ink a really neat effect. Yeah. Um, I really, I, I think the pen is really well made, like the threads are really smooth, there's no um, residue or anything on them. Uh, I mean, I've had pens come to me that were, that have bits and stuff stuck in the thread, so I find this pen really well made. Yeah. You have the option of a clip or not, we do have the clip on this. Um, I really love the, the nib, the writing experience is really great, and um, I think the services that they, I think that the fact that they offer uh, Nibmeister services at such an affordable price with, you can, get, you can get a pretty big variety, I mean you can go down to like Needlepoint or you can have, um, I believe it's Broads, so I mean extra extra fine to Broad is quite a range, you can get steel, you can get gold, so I think with the offerings they give you, with the beauty of this pen, the, the versatility, because it's a number six nib, and the comfort, I, I thoroughly love this pen. Oh yeah, I really, I really think this is a winner. What do you love about it, or hate, and hate, and or well, hate. it's 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 very similar to what you said. Good writing performance, good model, and even though I have large hands, still very pleasant. It does nice widen. Nib. The cap is wider, so maybe it fills your hand yeah, a little better. Yeah, it, 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 definitely nice, nice size. For me, it could be bigger, mm -hmm. but I find it pleasant to use as it is. But for the average user, it's probably yeah. going to be good, right? Very ple Yeah, I agree. Very pleasant nib, um, just a lot of fun. And the fact that you can turn it into an eyedropper fill pen is nice because mm -hmm. it just increases the uh, Plus, it capacity. looks really cool. And it looks cool yeah, because definitely. of the material. Yeah. I like that about it. Um, things I hate about it, well, to be honest, I haven't really found anything I hate about it. If I would have to nitpick, I would say I would love to see a section in the same color as the barrel. That I think would make it a extremely spectacular pen oh, because then, then you, you can have see the feed. you can you yeah. can see the feed and you can see the uh, converter and that. Mm -hmm. But that is really nitpicking because apart from that, I love the clip. I love everything about it. So mm -hmm. there isn't really anything else I hate about it. All right. Um, anything you hate? No, I, I agree. I think the section would be cool if it was clear, but as it is, I I don't. There's nothing I really dislike about the pen. I think it's lovely. Would you buy it? Definitely. It is. It goes for about 165 US with the steel nib, and I think it goes up to like 255 if you want to go for gold. That's yeah. pretty ex pretty standard. It's about a hundred dollars more. Yeah. Um, if I were to get this again, I would definitely go with a broad cursive italic again, or even better. Spend $35 and get yourself a Franklin Christoph music nib for this thing, and then it is to die for. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's really amazing. I mean, that's I understand that you could for two hundred dollars you can get a different pen with a gold nib, but the writing experience of these steel nibs are really pleasant. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if you have the music nib on here, it's a lot of fun, especially with the eyedropper barrel. So now um, is it? Wait, would you buy it? Yeah, I would buy it. Oh. I bought it. Put your enthusiasm in. Yeah, I would definitely buy it. It's uh, I have bought it. Yeah, and I would buy it again. I, I it's would a definitely nice pen. if they came out with honestly even just a different color, not red, but like maybe hot pink. I would totally buy it. Is it or is it not? Seriously, what a synchronicity! It I is definitely it. serious nib. Nice pen, well made, good nib, interesting filling option with the eyedropper. I also think if you're looking to get a. A, a higher end gift for someone, this is a really nice option. Yeah. Um, you could also get uh, different like different colors if you don't like the smoke and ice. Lots of people hate clear pens. Um, and you can also get like limited edition versions from yeah. different retailer. Well, I know Anderson Pens makes one. Um, and ag again, they're so lovely. I really enjoy them and the nibs are fantastic. Yeah. So I would definitely say Serious Nibbage and I would definitely say if you do not have one, get one. Get one, no. or at least get yourself to a pen show where you can try all of them. Yeah. All the nibs, anyway. And see the pens. So, serious nibbage, and the cat agrees. Do you agree that this pen is serious nibbage? Meow. Actually, she doesn't meow like that. She meows like this. Meow. 
Yeah, no animals were harmed in the production of this series and image episode. We hope this was useful. And we'll see you later. Probably. Yeah. Bye. No. Bye. She's just gonna. Uh, she's just remastered. It doesn't matter what I do. Grab the pen. Grab the pen. It's in my hands. Hello. Welcome to Serious Nibbage with. Hi. Okay, let's Are you start done? again. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of Sirius Nimage with SBRA Brown and Gourmet Pants! Gourmet I'm trying to pans, inject excitement into this scenario. Pans, okay, today pans, we are going to be... Oh god. My excitement gourmet goes away pans. when you're annoying. <laughs> this is the Franklin Kristoff Model 02 Intrinsic in the Smoke and Ice Finish. Hey, stroke it again. Smoke and eyes finish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that kind of uh, interesting. Uh, that's what were awkward. your first impressions of the pen? Uh, first impressions were... I dropped it. Oh, my God. Stop touching things. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was really excited about this pen because I like um, clear pens where you can see the ink inside. And this one is smoky. It's not really clear. Icy. Uh, it's not really clear, but you could definitely see the ink inside. Uh, have a torch. I was really excited about it as well because the nib I was looking forward to trying. Pretty cool. Yeah. So I was I was looking forward to it. Um, that's... So your first impressions were good. Or... Yeah, my first impressions were positive. What about you? My first impressions were good too. It's a fascinating pen. I think I always say it's a fascinating pen every single episode, but it is a fascinating pen. Maybe you should be more original. It's a highly interesting pen, <laughs> and um, I like, I, we'll come back to the material, but I really like the model. Yeah, and I, I, I was I was quite impressed by that. I think Franklin Christoph pens are made with a lot of eye to detail, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, they, they work. So I was, I was impressed. My yeah. first impressions were, were quite good. All right. What, about what makes the, it special? What makes it special? Oh, you look at me like, please, uh, please? No, please help me out. <laughs> I said please, but I want to say please. Uh, please help me no, out. No, no, because I did my first impressions first. Okay, so, well, what makes it special then? You! No, no, what makes it special is uh, the fact that it's a nice pen. Okay, wait. No, I think what, what makes it special you? is is the... Uh, <laughs> I think we should... <laughs> Start oh, I over. think we should start over. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>